Next up, Michael Cesario. He's got liquid death. Come on up. All right. Yeah, you can use either one, and your timer's right here. Hello. Hi, I'm Mike. Um, I'm a former spirits industry entrepreneur and advertising creative director. And I first really got into health growing up playing in punk rock and heavy metal bands because there's a huge percentage of that culture who is very much into being health first and vegan and vegetarian and even sober, um, especially now. I think we've all seen some of the data about Gen Z and millennials are drinking at a way lower rate and it's almost not cool to be wasted anymore. But it's really only the unhealthy brands like energy drinks and alcohol brands who are really investing in that youth male culture. They're doing things that are irreverent and hilarious and explosive. But then you've got healthy brands, especially bottled water, who are largely only investing in yoga moms and kind of fitness culture. So I created Liquid Death to basically be the first irreverent, non-sparkling spring water brand that's really more of an anti-brand that's kind of making fun of marketing bullshit because over 70% of millennials no longer believe what you say in your marketing, even if you're telling the truth. So what's interesting about what we're trying to do is that we're in 500 milliliter aluminum cans. We're designed to look more like craft beer than an energy drink or bottled water because it enables us to fit our usage occasion into more party environments, bars, music venues, house parties. And our core consumer, that heavy metal, punk rock, tattoo artist type that we index through the roof with is actually big and global. Based on Facebook user data, just between the US and Europe with those interests, there's over 100 million people. So if we're able to even convert 1% of them into customers, it's a pretty sizable business. And to help us get there, we've got a great team of advisors like Alex Bogusky, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Bill Sipper, and uh, Zach Greenberg of Perky Jerky. And that's uh, Liquid Death, thanks. Hold on. All right, um, uh, Liquid Death, Mike, <laughs> what do you think about uh, this sort of craft beer as a water kind of positioning? Well, I want to just say I drank it and I didn't die, so it doesn't really pay off. <laughs> um, I, uh, and I thank you for making fun of all the marketing bullshit that I do. Uh, but, but no, I, I think um, I do like the focus on the category. I do like this idea of a lifestyle brand, and um, I, think, I think it's got legs. Yeah. Carol, I'm curious as to your thoughts. I mean, we talked about coffee as being a crowded category, a tough category. Water, perhaps even more so. You know, what do you think of Liquid Death's chances? So I'm not a millennial. So, so my reaction to this killer marketing strategy is it's just that. It's just marketing. Uh, so, you know, you're doing a taste, tasting and uh, you're sipping water and you're looking at Liquid Death and as a brand and you're looking at the label and it's almost like someone's playing a joke on you. However... Like I said, I'm not a millennial. And so my reaction is, I think you want to piss off the millennial's mom. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I think he's achieved just that with his killer marketing <laughs> tactic. Yeah, I, I think you might piss off your mom and dad, yeah. perhaps. Right. Yeah. Um, Jerry, big guys are a lot more focused on water of late. I'll put you on the spot. You know, what do you think of liquid death? You know, could it fit into a portfolio like yours? There's an old expression, no risk, no reward. Um, and... and there is certainly a, a risky proposition here, but there may be a large reward as well. Uh, you look at the third world countries, I mean, he who controls the water business seems to win. He controls the water source wins as well. And this business is just water, water, and water, and I don't think that's changing. So there may be something here, yeah. uh, as radical as the name may be. Matt, did Liquid Death murder your thirst? What's that? Did it murder your thirst? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's water. It's, uh, it's water. Uh, I think, you know, we've seen some irreverent plays in the beverage in the past, and they have not worked out in the long term. I think um, having seen it only back in the back to taste it and examine the packaging and then hearing the presentation, it's a very different reaction I have now. The problem I see is how do you scale that? How do you... How do you explain to all these consumers that this is what this is about? That's, that's going to be tough. All right. Good stuff.